Hello, people of the interwebs. I am Kevin Martin, and I am joined by Henry Holloway. Hello. And this is Kapow! Pow, pow. <laughs> the show where we sit on Mobius chairs, Are these, and we give you the news. We have the, two these, of them? <laughs> we have two. All right, so two god chairs. We're god chairs. We, are we, have, the we have god chairs. Ambiguously godly duo. <laughs> So today it's a very special Kapow right. episode, and we're going to be talking about Rebirth. This guy, DC right Rebirth. Uh, we went to the midnight uh, premiere, or I don't release, release yeah. the midnight release. We read it, and we are now going to talk about it. Um, first, we're going to go through a little spoiler free, spoiler free, yeah, um, little bit. Um, you want to go ahead and just start? Maybe you've got some. Some I keep hitting these mics because they're now in front of us. Yeah. But, um, yeah, to start off, if you okay, if you like DC, read this. If you've been worried about DC lately, read this. If you wanted some excitement thrown in there, like uh, something to make you enthused about DC again, read this. It, um, man, <laughs> yeah, blew my mind <laughs> to say the least. Um. So what I had read mm-hmm. ended up becoming truth, right. and I, uh, if you watch fact. our previous fact, not um, fiction, n- n- well, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, I had said that this is going to change the way that we look at the DC universe, and I think it has. Oh yeah, absolutely, it's um, completely changed. Because when you said that, I was like, "What the hell could he be talking about?" And then having read this now, it does in fact change the way that you look at the. The entire DC universe. Yeah. Uh, regardless of what DC universe you're talking about, even, you know? Yeah. All the different sections or whatever Earth you want to be on. It, it affects everything. Yeah. And it makes you look at it through a different perspective. Yeah. Um, I uh, Honestly, with uh, the only thing that I can say here is go read it. Go mm-hmm. pick it up. Uh, get it. Uh, uh, you know, if you do digital, do digital. Mm-hmm. But I highly recommend just, just buying this. Get this in your hands. Yeah, get it in your hands. Um, it's it's a great read, and mm-hmm. I think this is the perfect place. I mean, there's like a couple of things that you probably should read, which we'll get into mm-hmm. um, uh, before or after reading this. Mm-hmm. But right. um, it's definitely a good starting point, and it again it changes the way that I think it. W- we are going to be reading these comics, comic books from now on, right? So especially this line, I'm uh, man, I'm I'm super excited as to. Because this isn't a spoiler because they've talked about it before. It's going to be filling in the past and the future mm-hmm. of DC Comics. And I now see how they're going to do that. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I'm curious as to what they're filling the cracks with. Yeah. So Agreed. Man. So go pick it up. Uh, you have my blessing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Go read this comic. It's um, As far as comics go, this is one of the most uh, rejuvenating in a very long time where I'm actively excited to read DC Comics again. Yeah. Um, so you want to just jump right into the spoiler section? Yes. Okay, so spoilers so. from here on out. If you haven't read it, go pick it up, come back, and watch us discuss this in depth and what our thoughts about mm-hmm. how this book uh, unravels. Changes everything. And changes everything. Mm-hmm. So in five, four, three, two, one. Okay. No. Yeah. Okay, if you're still here, it's because Ooh. you've either read it or you don't care and you just want to be spoiled. So, here we go. Yeah, either way, man. Whew. From the top, um, mm. it, it starts off with Wally mm-hmm. stuck in the Speed Force. Right. Um, who was lost. He's a man lost in time and space. Yeah, um, and he is slowly becoming part of the Speed Force. Mm-hmm. Um, Which is, I thought that was really cool how, like, I, I, I like the Flash, but I haven't read a whole lot of Flash yeah. where it's like... The continuing cycle I knew about, but mm-hmm. it's like how they turn into the energy that starts mm-hmm. or is fed to the other uh, speedsters. I yeah. didn't realize that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so he's stuck in the time force and he's, or yeah, the speed force, sorry. Um, fighting for his life. Fighting for his life. And he's trying to find a connection to bring him back. Yeah. Race against time, as it were. <laughs> exactly. The, the What he keeps referring to and it's funny because like it's something that we could have easily like let go over our heads mm-hmm. but the uh flashpoint paradox uh story mm-hmm. which jeff johns wrote i believe yeah it, um he's a part of everything yeah 
he uh, basically changes the timeline for everyone. Right. So, which is why now a lot of people that, like, were upset with um, DC as far as, like, connections that certain characters didn't have anymore. For example, and it's uh, touched upon here, uh, like Oliver Queen, Black Canary, Mm -hmm. the fact that they're not together, but they, like, know that they should be together. There's, Mm -hmm. like, this weird time... Space rift, like they they know that there's something there, but they're not together. Right, there's a fog between everyone to yeah. a certain degree, where it's something has happened, but they don't realize that it's happened. Mm-hmm. And this is Wally trying to let them know that there is something missing because it's one of those situations where you don't know what you don't know, mm-hmm. and he's trying to tell them, "Hey, you don't know something." Yeah, so go try and solve that. So. Right. Um, initially he thought his connection would probably be Bruce right. because of the, maybe the connection with the letter that he got from his father right. at the end of Flashpoint Paradox, right. thinking maybe because he knows something about an extended universe that maybe he'd be the connection that shows him that it's false. Obviously right. he, he realizes that he, that's not his connection. And he basically goes through the But at first I thought that like they were hinting that Batman had something to do with this. I yeah. was like, ah, uh, it's kind of lame. Like... Playing the whole Batman's OP like yeah. kind of thing, I was like, uh, and then he wasn't. I was like, oh, thank God. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, and he goes through basically like the entire catalog of people that you can. Yeah, go through to. like the Titans and like everyone. Yeah. He, he tries to find some sort of connection, even with his, uh, uh, Linda, right? Yeah. Yeah, Linda. Linda. And she's just like, I don't know who you are, and I'm just like, oh, yeah, no, so that's crushing. Sucks. Yeah. But eventually, he does find that connection. Which Bing so happens to be Barry. And Barry, yeah. Who was presumed dead, mm-hmm. at least in his timeline. Right. Who died saving the world. Right. Like you do. Yeah. Um, and uh, he finds him, and he doesn't even remember him at first, and then he does. Yeah, and, and then, then he, there's that click, where, and then he pulls him out, and then he's like, Fuck. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, Which was, I, I like that a lot, because he... You saw that there was, like, something, like, on the tip of his tongue, right? Mm-hmm. And then he's like, maybe? So he just takes the chance anyway, and he pulls him out. And then he's like, yep. Yeah. I'm sorry that I forgot about you. Yeah. How could I have forgotten you? He's like, it's okay, man. Everyone did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just so happy to be back. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, so that's – and that's in, it initially what – or basically what this book is about. But that's mm-hmm. not the big reveal. Yeah. Um, also, some Ooh. small things that were kind of – maybe not so small. I think they're just kind of small uh, here, but they're going to be bigger the later. The Wonder Woman thing? There is the fact that Wonder Woman has a stepbrother or uh-huh. a, a half-brother or just twin. brother, twin brother, mm-hmm. I guess, um, that we didn't know about. Mm-hmm. Uh, that seems to have some sort. Which I didn't understand. Maybe you did. Seems to have some sort of connection with Darkseid. Is Darkseid yeah, uh, this is father Darkseid? Huh? We just found out that he's her dad. Holy shit! Yeah, <laughs> See, that's what I thought. But I was like, I'm reading this wrong. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So yeah. Dark side is Wonder Woman's father. Yeah. I, yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's okay. Some Star so that's Wars shit, huh? <laughs> <laughs> on so many levels. Um, um, and also, then Aquaman gets married. So Aquaman gets cute. married. That was a nice little human human moment. Yeah. Happen. Aqualad is gay. Mm-hmm. Right. Um and Bruce finds out that there are three, not one, but three Jokers. Right. Yeah. Which I didn't get a chance to read Justice League Fifty. I haven't Is, either. Yeah, because I've been far, I've been behind on my Marvel stuff, and I was just trying to ramp up for it. Yeah. And just like the only thing that I had in mind to read was this guy. Yeah. I was like, I can wait on the except Batgirl, but uh, which got that guy too yeah. or a girl. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, so it, I didn't have a chance to find out about the reveal in the Mobius chair and stuff mm. like that. So it was interesting to see this. And then there was also the deal with uh, Clark and the kid mm-hmm. and his Lois. And, and, yeah, and there's the whole... And he's like faked his own death, essentially. Right, which is interesting, him yeah. being, you know, Superman. Yeah. And he's like, I have to fake my own death to, like, get some privacy and, like, maybe raise my kid in a normal way or whatever. Yeah. And now there's going to be, you know, some stuff with him as well. So. Yeah. There's a lot of, sto- like, open, uh, or stories that are left open. To, right. That, that are Yeah, this is more than obviously the beginning to be. something big where they're like, yeah. these are the threads that these characters are going to go down now. Mm-hmm. And so it was a really great way to kick off this new event or to kick off this new era in the DC Comics. Right. Because, man, I, I'm again, I'm excited to see what the past threads are and these new threads, like, where they lead. Mm-hmm. And so it's just, man, this was just such a well-written issue. Yeah. Like, I'm very happy with it. Let's get to, to brass tacks. 
So, Ooh. at the end, Bruce <laughs> finds... There you go. This guy right here. He chips away at uh, this shining thing inside mm-hmm. of the Batcave, and it so happens to be the comedian from Watchmen, his smiley face pin with the blood complete with blood yeah so the events of watchmen have obviously happened yeah so that's right there is big news the fact that mm-hmm. watchmen and yes watchmen <laughs> and the classic one of the greatest yeah graphic which novels of all was time. obviously published by dc comics but it yeah. exists within the dc comics universe and that well i mean now the dc comics universe exists with in watchmen <laughs> yeah so the very last uh uh the uh the epilogue shows mm-hmm. what the beginning is right. we see a, a clock and Let's it looks like a, a wristwatch at this um yeah so it starts off i don't know if you can see this so with the watch yeah and then and it then ends it with ends the watch on mars with the watch exactly so what does that mean whoops sorry what does that mean why is the what's what's the connection with the watch obviously if you've read watchmen before we know that dr manhattan's oh, yeah. father spoilers for watchmen if you've never read it yeah <laughs> <laughs> again if you haven't read watchmen honestly go read that before anything cause yeah not this only is one is, of the best- not only is that like a catalyst for this guy but it's probably my favorite comic book graphic novel one of my favorite stories this, of this, all time this is one of the best stories of all time mm-hmm. i would say yeah yeah for Absolutely. sure. And not just in comics, I think just in general. One of the best written things yeah. ever. So, And okay. that's just not but, comic book nerdery. It's yeah. like, it's on uh, Times, one of Times' best uh, novels. One of best novels, yeah. Novels, even, yeah. of all time. So, um, Dr. Manhattan, blue guy with a big dong. Mm-hmm. <laughs> big ol' swinging pangus. <laughs> yeah. um, so, his father was uh, a watchmaker. Mm-hmm. Um, he ends up going into uh, uh, some sort of physics, astrophysics. I cannot some remember sort of exactly the. Um, he goes through the event that ma- basically turns him into Doctor Manhattan, this mm-hmm. godlike being. Um, comes back and again, just read yeah, all of that. Working on like some atomic thing, and then yeah. that's when the yeah, read all this. It's, the, it's very good. But at the very end, uh, and I'm going going to give you the very short end version of it. Uh, that if you haven't read it, just go read it right now. Mm-hmm. Stop this video. Come back. Um, okay. Um, Ozymandias mm-hmm. has set this elaborate plan mm-hmm. to basically destroy cities in hopes of creating world peace. Right. So he unifies the world by having a common enemy. Mm-hmm. And of well, in the in the comic, being these like outer dimensional things, whatever that he yeah. has created mm-hmm. with the help of all these scientists across the world, which he then kills to keep the secret. Uh, in the movie, it's different, but in the movie, if you've seen the movie, then it's he uses Doctor Manhattan as the the ruse, which I think is is a probably bit the cleaner. superior yeah. uh, ending, in my opinion. Sorry, nerds, but it, it's the cleaner ending, yeah, it is and the it's ending. there's more uh, foreshadowing for it as yeah. well. Except you know, obviously the weird little bits on the island, but. So in either case, he uses this godlike uh, creation to uh, unify the world because they're like at any moment these can wipe us out, whether it be Doctor Manhattan or this weird time alien thing that blows up. And so through that, it creates world peace, and then Manhattan jets out. Yeah, he leaves. Yeah. Um, he goes, uh, which we presume back to Mars, mm-hmm. and he states that he is going to... And he kind of offhandedly says it. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe I'll try and create my own life. Yeah. Oh, man. That's oh, so good. <laughs> so, the theory, as of right now, mm-hmm. is that Dr. Manhattan left after the events of Watchmen, mm-hmm. goes to Mars... He leaves the uh, little blue planet and goes to his red one. Yeah. And presumably... Creates... The DC Comics universe. Right. So everything that you know, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, The Flash, uh, Green Lantern, Green Arrow, ever everyone mm-hmm. in the DC Comics universe were essentially created by God, and God is... Dr. Manhattan. Dr. Manhattan, the blue guy with the big dong. Mm-hmm. Just let that sink in real quick. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, and... Man... So, yeah, the idea of Dr. Manhattan creating the DC Universe is just... Yeah. Um, And, of course, they tie it with a watch and everything. And I'm curious as, like... 
Okay, so yeah, let's talking about this earlier. The, yeah, the 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 significance of a the watch at the or the uh, the, the, the monologue at the beginning, mm-hmm. uh, where he's talking about uh, how the watch was handed down and so on and so forth, and that uh, I look down at it talking about the world, and no, without question, I love this world, but there's something missing. And we were talking about is that monologue from Doctor Manhattan or is it from Wally? Because uh, at some point the font changes, and usually within comics, that's acknowledgement that there's a new speaker. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, but the font doesn't change, which is the well, the color changes. It goes from the black and the yellow, which black and yellow, to the red and yellow with Wally. And ah, yeah, and so did not recognize that. And Good so catch. there's a. Uh, potential that it is in fact dr manhattan narrating the beginning of it but it has duality to where like it also fills us in with what wally's trying to do yeah so does that mean that doc manhattan is using wally to connect in some way is he trying to find his lightning rod as it were as he states in there uh i don't know if that's like the idea of like this is what this is from here on out Mm -hmm. or if it just was a way of cluing in what wally was doing I think I think it's the the duality there mm-hmm. is strong. Especially in Jeff Johns writing this yeah. like it's I think, probably got some deeper meanings. I think it definitely could be um uh Doctor Manhattan for sure. Mm-hmm. I think it's something that I would I wouldn't doubt that um Kid Flash, Wally, would mm-hmm. uh have thought to himself. And the fact that and you had said this earlier, the fact that he's trying to find this lightning rod, the, mm-hmm. this person, this connection with somebody to bring him back to the world. Right. Which and he lost with Silk Spectre too when exactly. she went off with Dan Dryberg being yeah. Night Owl too. Yeah. And uh that's when he left. He lost his yeah. connection to humanity. Maybe he's desiring that again. We don't know. Yeah. Um so there is a, a, definitely a connection. What that means for the future, uh I have no clue. That's why we we'll have to read the next Yeah, issue. that's why we'll have to read. <laughs> we'll have to keep continue reading. Yeah. Um I had said that this could easily be something that uh, obviously, it changes the way that we look at everything because now we know who God is. Do you think that uh, people are going to like writers down the line? Like, because what I had, I'm said assuming was, so because of this line right here where he says, "Maybe Bruce can help me." So, in in that line, it it tells me that Doctor Manhattan, provided that this is him talking, is trying to actively reach out to these people because he needs something, right? And then the only way you can solve that is by elaborating on the story further, right? Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Man. So maybe we'll see more of Dr. Manhattan. Yeah. Some more, more. Some more, more. Um, <laughs> quickly, I don't want to touch on this too too much, but um, as we know, uh, I know what we've we've heard a lot of uh, kind of behind the scenes issues with Zack Snyder in the DC universe, mm-hmm. but coincidence that he directed Watchmen and that he's directed the other films? Do you think I that- think that that's a total coincidence. Um, although it would be awesome if they connected the movies in that way. But then again, that's a huge thing for audiences of the modern non-comic variety to swallow, right? Especially because Watchmen's like... Was that 2009? Shit. Yeah, 2006, something along that something. Um, So like that's a 10-year-old movie. And to expect people to go watch that... Um, I mean, they should because it's a, an amazing movie, and uh, people have their problems with it, the pacing and stuff like that. But that's how the book reads, you yeah. know. Uh, but as far as connecting the two, I think that that's a comic only kind of thing. As much as I would love to see it happen in, in the uh, in the movies, and especially that would mean that we would get like Flashpoint and everything in, in cinema, oh, definitely, because of it all being part of the same thing now. Yeah. yeah. But uh, no, I was actually thinking more so about like the idea of Flashpoint, and then. Uh, uh, fuck! What's his name that got cast? Uh, he also played the comedian, Jeffrey oh, Dean Morgan, yeah, Jeffrey and like there's Morgan. that now there's that connection there. So oh. it's just like stuff like that. Yeah, but I think that's more just fans and nerds being like, oh, well, what if they do? This? And it's just like the because the studios, you know, have a huge disconnect from the comics. Except now with Jeff Johns being, you know, the the head of that who yeah. knows yeah but i feel like that's just like nerdgasms <laughs> yeah it's true definitely agreed uh-huh. um yeah so huge huge things yeah in the future for dc and the new logo and the new logo <laughs> uh huge things in the future um 
definitely go check this out. And then I think, honestly, this is the dawn of a new DC. <laughs> and I think it's it's time if you've ever wanted to jump back into comics because mm-hmm. you fell off or maybe you want to just jump into comics because, I mean, the film industry is becoming the comic book film industry at this yeah, point. Yeah. And maybe you just want to know what's going on in the films prior, you know, whatever the case is. I think now for DC, this is the point to jump back into it. Um because it, they're rewriting Yeah, this history. starts over everything. But yeah. ag- again, like, if, if you're still watching this and you, like, ha- uh, haven't read it or whatever and you're weird like that, go read Watchmen. Go read this after. But, I mean, if you've gotten this far, you've probably read both or one. And if you haven't read the other, go read Watchmen. Like, because yeah. that'll obviously fill in a lot of clues or whatever for letter down the line for this. And if anything, it's just one of the best reasons you cannot possibly get your hands on. So agreed. Yeah, Um, man, let us know what you think. Do you think that I was going to say, did this blow your mind too? (laughs) Did this blow your mind? Yes. Right in the comments. Yes. Yes. (laughs) Uh, do you think that Dr. Manhattan is in fact, God, are we full of shit? And maybe we are thinking too much into it. Very likely. Um, (laughs) but honestly, I do think that this is, what yeah. we're pulling out of it is what they intended us to have. I think so. Yeah, I, I think really so. think so that it's not us just going out on yeah. a limb for it. Um, what do you want to see in the future now? What do you think is going to happen? Let us know. I am interested in hearing all of the fan theories. Because I really want to see Batman go kick it with Matt Owl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, no, he's old now because this is, what, well, 70-something? Well, I mean, we don't know exactly this... This could be taking place in that 70s now. This could have all happened within one second of Watchmen. I guess it's true. You never know. We'll, we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> they just walk up to each other they're like, <laughs> <laughs> I like you. I don't know why, but I like you. Like, um, you have some cool gadgets. <laughs> yeah, you too. Let's go hang out. <laughs> um, God, I'm so excited <laughs> for the possibilities now. <laughs> um, I'm Kevin. I'm Henry. Be sure anything Watchmen, DC Rebirth, comics in general, Kapow is the place to be. Right. We'll fill you in. We have Mobius chairs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and this is a special episode, but we usually post Mondays at 3 p.m. Pacific time. So you'll get more of us then if you decide to subscribe like you should. Down below. Like, Somewhere comment, below. share, subscribe, all that stuff. All that jazz. We will see you Monday at 3. Bye. Goodbye. Thank you for watching this week's Kapow. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to the videos. And also comment below. We want to know what you're thinking. Remember, we're here every Monday at 3 p.m. Pacific time. So we'll make sure to see you then. (laughs) (laughs) Um, But uh, I had said that this is going to change the way that we look at the DC universe. And I think it has. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's um, completely changed. Cause when you said that, I was like, what the hell could he be talking about? And then having read this now, it does in fact change the way that you look at the, the entire DC universe. Yeah. Uh, regardless of what DC universe you're talking about, even, you know, yeah. all the different sections or whatever Both earth you want to be on. It, it affects everything. Yeah. And it makes you look at it through a different perspective. Yeah. Um, I uh, honestly with uh, the only thing that I can say here is go read it, go mm-hmm. pick it up, uh, get it, uh, uh, you know, if you do digital, do digital, mm-hmm. but I highly recommend just, just buying this, get this in your hands. Yeah. Get it in your hands. Um, it's, it's a great read and mm-hmm. I think this is the perfect place. I mean, there's like a couple of things that you probably should read, which we'll get into, mm-hmm. um, uh, before or after reading this mm-hmm. but right. um it's definitely a good starting point and it again it changes the way that i think it w- we're going to be reading these comics comic books from now on right so especially this line i'm uh, man i'm i'm super excited as to because this isn't a spoiler because they've talked about it before it's going to be filling in the past and the future mm-hmm. of dc comics and i now see how they're going to do that mm-hmm. uh but i'm curious as to what they're filling the cracks with yeah so agreed, man. So go pick it up. Uh, exactly. <laughs> the th- what he keeps referring to, it, and it's funny because like it's something that we could have easily like let go over our heads. Mm-hmm. But the uh, Flashpoint Paradox uh, story, mm-hmm. which Jeff Johns wrote, I believe. Yeah, it, um, he's a part of everything. Yeah, 
he uh, basically changes the timeline for everyone. Right. So, which is why now a lot of people that like were upset with um, DC as far as like connections that certain characters didn't have anymore. For example, and it's uh, touched upon here, uh, like Oliver Queen, Black Canary, mm-hmm. the fact that they're not together, but they like know that they should be together. There's mm-hmm. like this weird time space rift like they they know that there's something there but they're not together right there's a fog between everyone to yeah. a certain degree where it's something that's happened but they don't realize that it's happened mm-hmm. and this is wally trying to let them know that there is something missing because it's one of those situations where you don't know what you don't know mm-hmm. and he's trying to tell them hey you don't know something yeah so go try and solve that so right um, initially, he thought his connection would probably be Bruce right. because of the maybe the connection with the letter that he got from his father right. at the end of Flashpoint Paradox, right. thinking maybe because he knows something about an extended universe that maybe he'd be the connection. It shows him that it's false, obviously. Right. He, he realizes that he, that's not his connection. And he basically goes through the But at first, I thought that like they were hinting that Batman had something to do with this. I yeah. was like, ah, uh, it's kind of lame. Like... Hello, people of the interwebs. I am Kevin Martin, and I am joined by Henry Holloway. Hello. And this is Kapow! Pow, pow. (laughs) The show where we sit on Mobius chairs, and we give you the news. We have two of them? (laughs) We have two. All right, so two god chairs. We're god chairs. We We have have god chairs. Ambiguously godly duo. (laughs) (laughs) So today, it's a very special Kapow episode, and we're going to be talking about... Rebirth. This guy. DC right Rebirth. Uh, we went to the midnight uh, premiere, or I don't Release. Release. Yeah. The midnight release. We read it, and we are now going to talk about it. Um, first, we're going to go through a little spoiler-free. Spoiler-free, yeah. Um, a little bit. Um, you want to go ahead and just start? Maybe you've got some, some things. I keep hitting these see. mics because they're now in front of us. Yeah. But, um, yeah, to start off, if you... Okay, if you like DC... Read this. If you've been worried about DC lately, read this. If you wanted some excitement thrown in there, like uh, something to make you enthused about DC again, read this. It, um, man, <laughs> yeah, blew my mind <laughs> to say the least. Um, so what I had read mm-hmm. ended up becoming truth, right? And I, uh, if you watch fact. our previous fact, Not um, fiction, n- n- well. Well, <laughs> playing the whole Batman's OP like yeah. kind of thing, I was like, uh, and then he wasn't. I was like, oh, thank God. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, and he goes through basically like the entire catalog of people that you can. Yeah, go through to. like the Titans and like everyone. Yeah. He, he tries to find some sort of connection, even with his, uh, uh, Linda, right? Yeah. Yeah, Linda. Linda. And she's just like, I don't know who you are, and I'm just like, oh, yeah, no, so that's crushing. Sucks. Yeah. But eventually, he does find that connection, which being so happens to be Barry. And Barry, yeah, who was presumed dead, mm-hmm. at least in his timeline, right? Who died saving the world, right? Like you do, yeah. Um, and uh, he finds him, and he doesn't even remember him at first, and then he does, yeah. And, and then, then he, there's that click, where, and then he pulls him out, and then he's like. Fuck. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> um, which was I, I like that a lot because he. You saw that there was, like, something, like, on the tip of his tongue, right? Mm-hmm. And then he's like, maybe? So he just takes the chance anyway, and he pulls him out. And then he's like, yep. Yeah. I'm sorry that I forgot about you. Yeah. How could I have forgotten you? He's like, it's okay, man. Everyone did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just so happy to be back. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, so that's – and that's in, in initially what – or basically what this book is about. But that's mm-hmm. not the big reveal. Yeah. Um, also, some Ooh. small things that were kind of – maybe not so small. I think they're just kind of small uh, here, but they're going to be bigger the later. The Wonder Woman thing? There is the fact that Wonder Woman has a step – you have my blessing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Go read this comic. It's um, – as far as comics go, this is one of the most uh, rejuvenating – in a very long time where I'm actively excited to read DC Comics again. Yeah. Um, so you want to just jump right into the spoiler section? Yes. Okay, so spoilers so. from here on out. If you haven't read it, go pick it up, come back, and watch us discuss this in depth and what our thoughts about mm-hmm. how this book uh, unravels. Changes everything. And changes everything. Mm-hmm. So in five, four, 
three, two, one. Okay. No. Yeah. Okay. If you're still here, it's because Ooh. you've either read it or you don't care and you just want to be spoiled. So here we go. Yeah. Either way, man. Whew. From the top, um, mm. it, it starts off with Wally mm-hmm. stuck in the Speed Force. Right. Um, who was lost. He's a man lost in time and space. Yeah. Um, and he is slowly becoming part of the Speed Force. Mm-hmm. Um, Which is, I thought that was really cool how, like, I, I, I like the Flash, but I haven't read a whole lot of Flash yeah. where it's like the continuing cycle I knew about. But mm-hmm. it's like how they turn into the energy that starts mm-hmm. or is fed to the other uh, speedsters. I yeah. didn't realize that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so he's stuck in the Time Force and he's, or, yeah, the Speed Force, sorry. Um, fighting for his life. Fighting for his life. And he's trying to find a connection to bring him back. Yeah, race against time as it were. <laughs> exactly.